Good morning, party people. Welcome, Welcome to The Breakdown with Nate and Johnny. Sorry. I no, it's okay. Don't worry about no. it. Before we get into this, just a warning. There's a trigger warning on this video here. Uh, I believe it's to do with suicide and suicide prevention. So if you are someone that's struggling, please check out the link down below. Um, and if you just need someone to talk to, we are here for you. Always, always. We love you guys and we appreciate you. Uh, so if there's anything that we can do to help you, um, we're always here. In saying that, this one could cause us to feel things. Uh, I've heard that it's a little bit wild. I've heard nothing. This is the brand new Lorna Shore track, Pain Remains 2. After all I've done, I'll disappear. So I'm sure that most of you here would have checked out the first one and checked out our reaction to it. Uh, it was a little bit different from Lorna Shore. We were pleasantly surprised. Uh, it was a very, very sort of heart-wrenching music video. Uh, and we also got some new sort of sounds and flavors and dynamics from the band, which was which is really welcomed by both of us, who aren't the sort of people that love everything deathcore. Uh, we're quite selective in our deathcore. But Lauren have been smashing it. Uh, the song did end abruptly, so I'm keen to check this one out. I wonder if it's going to start as abruptly as it ended. And then one way to find out. That's a good point. If you put your headphones hey, on, we're going to check Like that. and subscribe. Uh, official link will be below if you want to watch it without all of our annoying pauses. But why would you do that? We're annoying but fun. Check I out merch. Donations link is there as well if you what want you to have the channel out. I'm wearing the death metal. Nathan Jones, Nathan I'm Jordan. wearing the good morning party people, the death metal. Because what Johnny said. Three, two, one. Yep. Yep. Kick straight in. That is correct. I'm just ready for it to just blast in. I love the scenery here. Oh, oh, oh fucking stop it. Love that. First things first, like, holy fucking speedy pants. Yeah, they started at 100 and then went to 110%, which I didn't think was possible. Uh, I really liked hearing that sort of more simplistic but cool uh, atmospheric lead going yeah. over the riff. Yeah, agreed. Uh, and like I've said before, I really like their, their approach to sort of, for use of a better term, metalcore on speed uh, riffs. So a lot of the style of their riffs sounds like that sort of early uh, 2000s uh, Swedish-influenced metalcore stuff, but it's just 10 times as fast. Yeah, it is. It is. Um, I'm just keeping count of how many times you say sort of in this uh, reaction. So far, you're five. Yes. Just, just so you know, I'm counting. Oh, Chunk City. I know I'm pausing in the middle of this bit, but I have to say, from a cinematography's perspective, I'm loving the contrast of the really soft, warm light showing the fond memories, cutting to yeah. the present, where it's like really like dark and dark and contrasting. Gloomy. You can yeah. see that there, whereas like the blacks really pull back out of the other one, and it's it's it shows it's more of a dream world. I think that's really well used to tell the story. Yeah, for sure. And it makes you instantly go, you understand what's happening. Yeah. So yeah, from a like story it definitely sets a tone of how he's feeling. 
Yeah, but also allows you to go, this is a memory, this is it. Like, there's, you don't have to think about it because there is a lot going on musically and it makes the visuals not take away from the song. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Love the finger last. Yeah, that riff there. It's cool. This drum just doesn't fucking stop. Shredding like it's no big deal. There's no way I'm giving you that one. Oh, Julian! Trilogy, oh, baby. Damn it. Uh, you were getting antsy then. I, yeah, I find that very hard to watch. You love gore and choppy. Is it because he did it to himself? Yeah, it's suicide, man. It, it doesn't, yeah, it just, and watching it is just like, yeah, it just, it just, uh, not, like, uh, not doing that in a, like, disrespectful way. It's just one of those things that because, because it happens and because it's such a real thing and because mm -hmm. it's such a problematic thing that people get to that point, it makes me feel very uneasy to watch it. I can watch horror movie. I can. Yeah, I could have watched someone come in and beat his head in with a hammer and it, and I would have been like, oh, that's fucked up. But yeah. Like, you know that happens too, right? I do, but I don't know. There's something the the reality uh, and the... The, the gravity of suicide is yeah. quite 
So it's unnerving. the emotional component of it. Mixed yeah. With, yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah, because uh, that's interesting. Because like we've discussed on the channel how much of a, a CC I am when it comes to horror stuff, and we've said before I just don't love the excessive violence. Yeah. But I, I don't find that as, like I don't get as uncomfortable in that. Oh really? Maybe mm-hmm. because it's much more, because of the emotional comp- like component. Maybe okay. I go okay, I can understand the connection of why he's doing whereas the the unnecessary violence yeah for me i just go that's like why did that guy's eyeballs blow up i didn't like that <laughs> because we've seen videos like that <laughs> we watch stuff like that all the time um make me do yeah it. Uh, that's um it's one of those things where it's not this is different because it's not brutality or um violence for the sake of violence it's like you said, it's yeah. the emotional component that's a part of this story. Um, yeah, and I, I think they did it well because it's not even, like, overdone, you know what I mean? Like, it's not... Yeah, it's just, not heavily focused on, like, a, the blood going everywhere. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I it, was, it was quite tame in that sense. But I think after two videos of especially watching this guy and going through this this emotional sort of roller coaster with him of pain and loss... It's yeah, it's it's very heavy. It's <laughs> yeah, and the music is very heavy as well. As I said I think that also is tribute to whoever produced the video here, directed uh, David Brodsky and Alison Worst Worst uh, was producer, cinematography editor. I think they did a really good job of conveying the emotion. Oh, hundred percent. And we've talked about this before when a video clip's too intense, sometimes it can take away from the song. But that song has such intensity and so much going on. I think it was really, really well done that they allowed you to still follow the music, still be taken in with all of that and yeah. follow the story without having to be like following, following the story and having to pay attention to it. That was the thing for me because I was I was watching it and I was like, ooh, yeah, riffs, ooh, getting into it. And then like as the song went on... I was drawn more into the story of where it was going and it became less about the song for me and more about the story. Okay. Um, because as much as I love the music, if I can be straight up honest... <laughs> That's what this was, channel's all about, baby. It was just, that was just another really good um, sort of black and death, deathcore song to me. It okay. was really good, but it wasn't... Whereas the first one really sort of was like, oh, shit, hold on a second, we're doing something different here. Um, that was just Lorna Shaw doing Lorna Shaw with, still with that melodic emotional component that's in there. Um, but I think this, and I'm sure the guys wouldn't hate us saying, this is more about the, the story and the message uh, that's going through it. I'm really interested to hear part three. Yeah, because where do they that, go from here? And that can often be the case when you have a trilogy of something. The middle bit is, filler is the wrong term, but it's the start and the end because it's you're going on the journey and it's like the starting with them and then you're finishing with them and the middle is just, you kind of go along for the ride and maybe that's part of it. Also, considering how the film clip ended, be right. interesting to see what happens in the third part of this. Exactly. I was thinking that because I'm like, oh, so he's gone now, so what's the third part? What if... What do you reckon? I reckon it could either go insanely brutal and dark or perhaps we'll get something that we have not heard at all from Lorna Shaw yet and it'll be a much shorter, maybe melodic finale. Maybe we'll get to hear... But I'm excited to hear We'll use the pipes a little bit. The organs. (laughs) Yeah, skin of the organ. (laughs) That's not an organ. Oh, that was the pipes. (laughs) Is it a pot? Gonna stop doing that because <laughs> I know you too well. I don't do the editing. <laughs> McGee, have fun. No, I meant pipes like you know the church <laughs> organs. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, those things are so impressive. To like, they are. I'm not a big fan of the sound. To be honest, <laughs> I'm not a big fan of church. <laughs> Me either, brother. No, I'm not a big fan of the sound, but they look awesome. Like you go on those yeah. old churches and they're just like these monolithic instruments. Oh, monolithic, good word. They are. Yeah, and, yeah, it is a good word, but I can't take any credit for that. That's just what they are. <laughs> it's just came to mind. What did you guys think of part two, Pain Remains, uh, after all I've done, I'll Disappear, the second instalment from Lorna Shaw's seemingly epic trilogy. Yeah. Really interesting. And how do you feel about the 
the violence aspect we talked about, um, do you feel the same as Johnny? Can you handle like gratuitous violence, but that hits you differently? Or is it because it's more subdued and real, does that not affect you as much? I'm genuinely curious about that one. So comment below, let us know your thoughts and how excited you are for the third part. Again, I want to state, if you guys are going through anything, if you want to talk to anyone, please do not hesitate to reach out. Um, we love that we've got a channel here that hopefully entertains and gives you guys some good times, but we absolutely are here for you if you are struggling. So please don't hesitate to reach out. Uh, we definitely don't have all the answers, uh, but sometimes... We barely have any answers, to be honest. We're very dumb. <laughs> yeah, right. Also, just want to talk about this for a second. I know we're, I'm interrupting the, the serious thing. Yeah. You're wearing long pants, a jumper, and a beanie. Yes. You're not sweltering. No. You just trained. That I finished 45 minutes ago. Oh, okay. It was, it's like 22 it, degrees. It was cool today. in here. Okay. I'm all right. I'm good. You're very cool in here. Thanks, man. It's all about the outfit. Uh, yeah, as I was saying, look, we don't have all the answers. Uh, and as Nathan said, we don't have any of the answers all the time. But uh, I, sometimes it is often good just to hear someone's outside perspective on things. Uh, if you are going through something, a different point of view. Uh, and also, sometimes it's just kind of nice to vent to a stranger. And know you've um, got someone there to listen. Mm, 100%. We hope you're all good. We love you all. We Thanks think you're incredible and you're going to do great things.